Hey, what's up, Shorts Force? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, did you know it's a great day to wear a watch? If you're new here, my name's Dave. May the Schwartz be with you. And as you see in the title of this video, I wanted to share with you six, <laughs> six of the best and cheapest ways that you can make your watches look better, and perhaps even at their best. Now, these are just a few of the ways that I know of, but if you have more ideas to contribute, please be sure you leave a comment down below so that I and other viewers can benefit from your knowledge. Now, real quick, before we get started, let's do a wristwatch check for my guys out there. So this is my Lucian Picard, which I've done a full review on. You can check it out up here. It is an homage of a vintage Omega watch. And this I have on a nice handcrafted blue leather. It's a navy blue leather strap. Just looks awesome. Gives it a nice vintage and uh, elegant feel. Okay, so let's start with the best one first. Now, this is one of my favorite ways to get your watches looking and feeling better. So many times I've purchased a new watch and the finishing on it is just not as good as I'd like it to be. Maybe it's rough on the edges or on the case or the bracelet, which is why I highly recommend these jewelry polishing cloths. Man, these things are simply amazing. They're cheap and they work. And they will not only get your stainless steel looking brighter and shiny, but they work on gold and other metal materials as well. And they won't affect finishing, so these will work on both polished and brushed metals. Now, I like to get mine from James Avery or Amazon, which I'll link down below if you want to snag some for yourself. And you can never have too many of these, in my opinion, and they're great for travel as well. I'll put my money where my mouth is. Look, at these are just the ones that I could find. I keep these things all over the place, and they get used until they're just completely just dirtied up. Um, yeah, so there you go. Now, going a bit further than the polishing cloths on my first recommendation, the next one is for actual minor scratch repair. Most guys that have owned a watch with the stainless steel bracelet will attest to the fact that scratches are just a part of life, especially if you work a desk job where your computer use is normal, you're constantly rubbing the bottom of that bracelet on your desk all day, it's just going to happen. Now for that, I would recommend these Cape Cod polishing cloths. Uh, from what I've seen with other reviews, these you want to be careful with as far as using them on a brushed finish as it may actually remove or lighten the brushed effect. I haven't experienced that myself, but again, just something to be, you know, be aware of. Just be extra careful when you're using this on brushed finishes. I purchased this 10 of them, which contains 12 four by six inch cloths, which are cotton, and they do have this nice vanilla smell, it's kind of a compound that's embedded into them. And I would wear gloves as they may leave your hands very oily. The tin also includes one pair of nitrile gloves and a microfiber buffing towel. So you can kind of see everything that comes with it. Um, I did see smaller sample size options online as well in case you want to try them out before committing to a large quantity. But so far I've been really impressed. Polywatch is my next recommendation, which there are plenty of reviews on this stuff and similar products on YouTube that show you how well this can work on your acrylic, plastic, and mineral glass crystals. You can look at plenty of pictures on Amazon that show before and after on a variety of watch brands ranging from cheap fashion watches to luxury Swiss watches. I'll also include a link to a version of this that is made specifically for deep scratches in glass. It's a bit more involved and may be a better solution for deep scratches in glass crystal. Now I haven't had to buy any poly watch myself because all of my crystals, knock on wood, um, haven't had any scuffs or scratches in them but from what I've seen online, it seems to be like a really good product. Now, this next item may seem like a given, but from what I've seen with so many used watches that I've purchased, I think it's safe to say that this is an important step that is forgotten with regard to owning a watch. And that is cleaning your watch, especially a watch bracelet. Um, the best thing that I've come across for cleaning my watches is this Meguiar Super Degreaser. I use this stuff on all types of materials and I've not experienced any issues. But with that said, please be sure to test this in a small area first because I don't want you to run into any problems. And this is sold in a full gallon. It's concentrate, so it'll last you a very long time. I've had this single gallon here for almost four years now. And you can see, I still got a long ways to go. Not just for my watches, I detail my cars with that stuff. I clean my furniture, other, just everything. Clean it all. It works on everything. It's great. <laughs> now those last few items I recommended had to do with cleaning and restoration. But these next ones are simple changes that you can actually make to your watch that will really elevate the look, and that's changing out your strap. Now I know that sounds simple, but I saw a video of a guy on YouTube sharing his watch collection with his viewers, and I noticed he referred to two of them as a brown leather watch and black leather watch. Now I'm not gonna link that video down because it's not, much, it's not so much about giving that guy a hard time. I don't wanna call him out. It's just that it goes to show how lots of guys out there may not even know how easy it is to change out the bracelet or strap of a watch. 
And there's many options out there that you can spend at any level that fits your budget. And whether it be a pack of cheap NATO straps, like these right here, or more expensive handmade leather straps. The limits are endless. It's a fun and inexpensive way to swap out that cheap, genuine leather strap that came on your watch when you first bought it with a soft and supple suede strap or rubber strap, silicone, sailcloth, purlon, and on and on. And now here's a pro tip. When buying NATO or Zulu straps, be sure that the hardware on your strap matches the color of your watch case. If you have a black PVD coated watch case, you'll wanna get a strap that has the same color finishing, otherwise it's gonna look off. Gold and rose gold tones can be tricky, so be sure to buy from a seller that will allow returns or exchanges in case the tone is off by just a bit from your watch. All right, so lastly, I just wanted to recommend a deployment clasp for your two-piece watch straps. This is a cheap way to take your watch to the next level with regard to the look and the feel. And while a simple buckle does its job and works just fine, taking it off and installing a butterfly clasp or single fold clasp gives the watch a much nicer and polished feel. I can't think of a better way that you could spend 10 to 30 bucks and make the watch feel like it's worth so much more. Here's another pro tip. Be sure to measure the strap where the holes are located. This will keep you from buying the wrong size in case the strap tapers down to a smaller width than what is measured at the lugs. But there you have it. Six inexpensive ways to make your watch look nicer and to keep it looking at its best. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Who knows, maybe at one of my next giveaways, I'll put together the ultimate watch care package. I guess you'll have to stay tuned to find out. As always, may the Schwartz be with you. I'll see you guys at the next one. Take care.